Hello and welcome back. I'm very excited to show you what I think is a key feature of GarageBand. Something that I think should become one of your closest friends when you're editing any individual audio file because now you have the power with automation to manipulate the volume in any given individual track. As you remember, we have the music intro here. And I think since this is the first thing that we're going to hear, why don't we just move this to the top by holding on to it and moving it like all the way up there. And now click on Mix, hit Show Automation. And another shortcut, just hit the letter A on your keyboard. And it pops up, as you can see here, the word Volume is now there. And here is what enables you to use automation. They kind of look like two lollipops. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. I want to enable automation. And you can see that this line, this gray line here, is what we want to click on. Because, as you heard earlier, this music comes in pretty loud. And I think it's much better to have it fade in. So I just hit that gray line and now it turns into a yellow line. We click on it, I'd say twice, just to be safe. And now you hold using the left click of your mouse and drag that all the way down. And as you can see, the individual track volume is now muted essentially it's all it's basically at level zero and important note all volume tracks you kind of want to have in the yellow at the most you never want to see red either here in the master volume or here in the individual track volume that's how you know you're clipping and you're too loud so we kind of want to just stay in the yellow and speaking of yellow here's our yellow automation line and as you can see, it sort of swoops down here, indicating a fade in. Let's give it a listen to see how it sounds. And as you can see, it was staying in the yellow the whole time, which is a good sign. And now let's do the same thing over here. So we can have it fade out. because now my vocal track is about to kick in. Let's make sure that goes all the way to the end, like so. Let's give this a listen over here. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. So there you go. There's an example of fading in and fading out using automation. Now, another really uh, great thing about this particular feature is that it enables you to increase the volume for a specific length of time within the audio track here. So let's say that maybe this is a little bit quieter than I would like, or maybe your guest spoke very quietly at one point because you notice how the WAV files can fluctuate sometimes. And we're looking for a little consistency here. And you can tell that here I'm a little bit louder, here I'm a little quieter. But we don't want to go too crazy with that. We just kind of want to choose a chunk of specific time that we want to increase the volume just ever so slightly, like so. And as you can see now, this portion here is going to be a little bit louder, and you'll even see this uh, volume knob essentially go up a bit. My name is Jim, and today we are speaking with Mr. Guest all about the wonderful world of podcasting using GarageBand. So there's another example of why automation is so great. You can simply increase the volume at any given point within your individual audio file, and you can certainly use the fade-in feature as well. That's why I think um, practice at this is key because it allows you to make your podcast sound a little more consistent or at the very least not, uh, not sound so jarring when 
uh, a loud file starts playing like you heard with the music there. But before we wrap up, I wanted to go over an important point regarding automation and checking your work, especially at the introduction here. Because listening back is important. And I would say that maybe this fade here comes in a little strong still. You want it to be a little bit smoother and perhaps have the fade last a little bit longer than it does. And as you can see, when we enable time, you can see that the fade here barely lasts, actually lasts exactly one second. We want it to extend it further out, which is easy to do by simply clicking on the dot. And when we do that, we can pretty much drag it out even further. Let's make it four seconds instead of one second. Especially for our introduction, I think that's important. Ah, much better, much better. And I think we should do that the same for the ending of the music intro file here. Because again, it probably lasts maybe a second, second and a half, but let's drag it out even further. And now, as we can see, the fade lasts longer. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. So there you go. I think it's very important to double check, make sure that your introduction is the way you want it to be. And I especially think fading in and fading out are really key elements of the automation process. But don't be afraid to go over and double check, especially when you're finalizing your file. But we're going to get to more steps in regards to the introduction coming right up in the next tutorial. So I'll see you there.